everyone from North Devon here in the UK oh what a lovely spot come here about twice a year got two weeks here a year and uh, yeah it's been great and uh, this week's years have fallen just before the rutting season so uh, I've been on a hunt all week for red stags and uh, the reason I'm making this video from here today is because if you've ever tried to photograph red stags you know a they can smell you from about a mile off um, B they're extremely nervous of mankind uh, for obvious reasons we shoot them so uh, anyway I've been on a photographic hunt of the red stag or just the stag all week and um, anyway this is just a quick video to explain what I've got so hopefully you've watched my first video from North Devon on hunting the red stag when I was extremely lucky and uh, literally stumbled across a couple of stags and a few hinds in the right place at the right time well obviously you don't get that lucky I realised at the time that was probably a bit of a fluke but uh, yeah we've had some success in tracking some down in subsequent visits to the same area we've been just north of Simon's Bath I think it's Somerset it's just on the Somerset Devon North Devon border and uh, yeah we're just about a mile north of Simon's Bath um, where there's a field you go across and uh, drop into the valley below a little bit and also there's fields on the right hand side farmers fields as well and um, yeah I had one one quick encounter with the stag as I was just going to descend into the valley and um, I was met by a giant pair of antlers <laughs> as I went down as he went down the thing and of course as soon as the head popped up and it saw me it was off and um, it was also there with one of its mates so uh, a mate of his uh, so I had a couple of stags running away from me down the valley but as usual with deer all is not lost they did stop turn round, and have one final look at me before they went off and I did get one of the two stags descending down the slope so uh, yeah linked to a couple of pictures there but uh, oh that made me jump face to face with a stack <laughs> incredible and the equipment we were using for stag hunting was the uh, Sony A92 with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens and this is a uh, two kilo lens um, this is about a three kilogram combination with the uh, peak design strap and um, yeah it's just about enough to carry and I say this is why I wasn't vlogging as I was going because it is very tricky to do the two at the one go obviously the deer can also hear you so uh, any communication to a fictitious third party um, would be picked up and I wouldn't have tripped over <laughs> that couple of uh, stags they would have been off before I even even saw them over the crest of the hill okay so yeah a very good combination of course um, I started with the Sony A1 scouting area out with the 100-400 but uh, soon realised I needed more reach um, but I didn't really need more pixels so I was quite happy with the 25 megapixels in the A92 and this is a perfectly good combination to get uh, 4k video and superb shots yeah so unfortunately um, well, about we're about two weeks too soon for any rutting action I would suggest amongst the stags um, but they were still sort of rounding up their hinds and uh, yeah so it was still some some reasonable stuff and indeed I went on numerous visits because I'm literally only 20, 20 minutes away from Simon's Bath in the old uh, car and um, yeah so I was able to get quite uh, quite a few evenings in as well I tracked them down and the opposite side to the valley there's some farmers sort of land over on the right hand side and these red deer were all over um, sort of farmland 
and en enclosed in a sort of well they're not enclosed they can jump any fence going really but they were sort of herded into a sort of field area and I was able to get some nice shots with them uh, grazing on the grass and um, a little bit of action of the hinds being herded by the uh, stags so uh, yeah a little bit of footage of that and this was all taken before sunset so uh, the light level started to descend so again it was a good idea to use the uh, a92 um, it's got similar light low light capabilities as the sony a1 but it is 25 megapixels as opposed to 50 megapixels so uh, yeah some footage of some more action as the sun went down and a few more snaps in a field and indeed they came quite close to me because i was just hidden behind a gate as you would and again this is why you can't vlog because yeah, if i'd done anything really apart from just stay still have the camera pointed in the right direction I wouldn't have got the shots so uh, anyway yeah link to some more red stag shots be back in uh, end of January beginning of February this year to North Devon and uh, the way the week's fallen so uh, ooh, I'll have to get the thermals on then that's for sure but uh, hopefully we'll get some more action anyway thanks for watching an episode of Camilla and I and uh, yeah hope to see you in the next one bye for now <laughs>